Okay, right, so here we are at uh, Maxim General again. Uh, heading to South Shields versus FC United. Uh, just did a full night's work. Got in about. Mm, probably about 10 to 5 to 1, something like that. Worked straight through till um, about 7 o'clock this morning and then just quickly got changed. And um, here we are, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and we're back on Wrexham Station. So, <clears throat> quite tired. Um, but uh, here we are. Looks like I'll be getting a bit of a rest tomorrow. Our orders are, uh, are down due to the coronavirus. A lot of people are suspending their uh, contracts with us because, well, I say a lot, a few, a few people are suspending their contracts with us because <coughs> of the coronavirus. Um, I, I should uh, cough then. <laughs> um, but uh, it's so. Obviously, they don't want their clothes being moved around to different people's houses and so forth. Um, and uh, they're worried about, obviously, infection. Although, neither me or any of my staff uh, have got the, the virus, nor have we um, nor have we been, uh, been in contact with anybody that has. So, well, there'll be no of anyway. But uh, a lot of people are just getting very nervous about it and that, so... It's uh, it's going to be a quiet time, so it's a good job that uh, there's not much football going on after today because um, I don't have the money to go anyway because not going to have the um, not going to have the, uh, the 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 orders coming in. So tomorrow's going to be quite a quiet day on that score. But uh, I was pleased to see me this morning. I'm a bit sad that I was going straight back off again, which is. Uh, Quite heart wrenching. I mean, I take it with me, but she's got better things to do here. To be honest, I mean, she doesn't want to go out to the cold football and that. It's not something she she enjoys as much as she used to when she was little. Um, she's got dancing and stuff that she goes to on a Saturday, so she's got plenty to do today. So uh, she'll be off with that and stuff. So she's quite happy. Um, but she was a little bit sad to see me go again, but. I'll be back tonight and then I can spend the whole day with her tomorrow, which will be nice. Uh, without uh, the pain of work in the way. So, um, yeah, that'll be good. But anyway, off, on to today. Um, so I think this will probably be the last one. Um, this talk now of... Um, by the end of the week, uh, the government's saying that you can only have crowds of uh, less than 500 together, uh, gatherings are less than 500 uh, and that's come up through um, watching the Rugby League last night, I was listening to the radio after um, and they were talking there about what the Rugby League going to do and they said that uh, they're going to have a meeting on Monday and they'd been advised that uh, that probably by the end of the week that's what the government gonna, are going to impose so they are probably going to close down the, uh, the Rugby League on Monday uh, that will obviously leave um, a lot of these non-league games which are going on today. Um, that's going to leave them also having to be abandoned in their leagues as well because most of them will get over 500 crowds, especially in like the, the Northern Prem and stuff like that. So you're looking at probably North County stuff and that still being able to go on. But I'm not going to go to any of that because it's still quite possible that the Euros could go ahead and... I can't be wasting money on just going to games, going to games' sake, and you know, as though I like, really would like to take the opportunity to do new grounds. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to, I'm not going to do it. But on on the other thing, they might as well just cancel a lot because if you've got the leagues above not being able to finish, even down at the Northwest County level. There's no point in playing them because you, you can't get promoted or relegated anyway because the other leagues don't finish, which does seem to be likely now. The FA were saying only last night they were saying that they, they fear now that the season probably won't ever come to a completion. So if that's right, then then uh, then there's no point in playing the North of County leagues and stuff like that because. You can't get promoted, relegated. It just seems pointless. 
I'm putting on those games really um, and um, start afresh next season I think and um, whether we can get the Euros in or not is, is another thing I don't know it's going to be uh, the wait and see but um, they're probably looking at the May being the, the height of it all so hopefully by June and by the start of that um, we can get the Euros underway um, that'd be nice to get that done because uh, they've not made a decision on that yet although they keep talking about maybe the evening of the year but uh, hopefully the worst of this is over by then um, so yeah so this probably be my last game for a while um, went through with the developments of the weekend uh, like I said to you yesterday the, the Welsh FA and the Scottish FA have, have, have blanket uh, called called it um, cancelled right through to the grassroots um, so you'd expect the English FA right now to take suit with this new thing that they're going to bring at the end of the week with um, 500 gatherings you might as well just say that's it we're, we're, we're cancelling the lot because like I say even at the lower levels where you get less than 500 crowds you can't get promoted by gates there's no point so you might as well just cancel a lot now so I think that's what they probably will do by the end of the week so um, I can't see me being at any more games which is quite sad but uh, it is what it is just have to carry on through and uh, focus on work because that's going to be a bit uh, that's going to that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit of a worry with uh, the lack of that and uh, see what we can do around that and uh, focus on that I think so two so she